The house is all ready. It's been heated for a week. Oh, bless you, Maria Dmitrievna, bless you. It was most kind of you to prepare it for us. Oh, nonsense, what rubbish. Get some tea and bring some rum with it. How is Natalie? Oh, not so well. She wanted to come to Moscow with us. Uh, but the doctor said, no, better stay in the country. Oh, quite right. And you, young lady, let me look at you. Oh, you got prettier. Thank you. Never knew I should have such a pretty godchild. <laughs> oh, but good gracious, you're half frozen. Take those things off, then you'll soon thaw out. Are you staying with us, Aunt? Well, of course. You don't think I'll leave you to look after yourselves when your mother's not here? Sonia, take that coat off. How are things at Otradne? Fine, except for my little countess. Nikolai didn't come to see me on his last leave. Well, you know what young men are. Yes, I know what they are, and I know what they ought to be, which is more to the point. Has he come back? Yes, to wind up his affairs. Oh. He's leaving the army. And so he should, wasting his time playing at soldiers. Mm. Stuff and nonsense. He ought to be doing men's work, not boys. And uh, you, miss? I'm very well, aunt. Not married yet? No. Well, we must try and find you something now you're back in Moscow. Sit down, everybody. Tea will soon be here. So you're selling this house and the estate outside Moscow? Well, what do we want such a big place for? Have you got a buyer? I've several for the estate. Uh, I'll be uh, chasing about the next day or two, showing this one and that. I'll uh, leave my little girls in your care. Oh, that you may do. We have to buy you a trousseau, eh? Yes. Well, that'll be a great pleasure for you. Oh, it should. Oh, the fashions today are beyond me. But uh, we let her have her head a little. Oh, it's a pity your mother isn't here, but there you are. Well, everything would have taken twice as long. I have to congratulate you. You've hooked a very fine fellow. Thank you. Has he, uh, how long has he been away? It seems like years. Oh, well, that's natural. But the wait will do you no harm. Uh, you know the old prince is spending the winter in Moscow? Yes, I heard. Uh, I believe it's in connection with uh, recruitment for the army. Well, it may be. Things are blowing up again with that fellow, what's his name, Bonaparte. Oh, it'll blow over, believe me. It'll blow over when they put an end to him and not before. No, I think the old man is here to see doctors. Mm. I think you should take her to see him. You think? Well, you know that uh, the father is against the marriage. Of course, Prince Andre is not a child and he can do without him. But it's not nice to go into a family against the will of the father. I think I should wait for Andre to return. Oh, but why wait? How nice for him when he comes back to find that you already know them and that they like you. They may not. Oh, you're a clever girl. you manage. I don't see why I should have to, Aunt. I'm not marrying them. Oh, listen to her. High and mighty. You'll use your sense, girl, and make the effort. No need to look for trouble where there may be none. I wrote to Princess Maria and told her that you were coming here, and she wrote back to say that you should go over. I suggest you go tomorrow. Well, if you think so. Well, you can do no harm. Where there's a will, there's a way. Well, Sonia, cat got your tongue. Have mercy upon us. I told you I would receive no one today. No one. How dare you come here? Get out. Perhaps we shouldn't have come today after all. Why? What difference does it make, Papa? I'm about to marry his son. For Andre's sake, at least he could see us without making all this fuss. Oh, he's getting very old. Papa. Count Rostov, how nice to see you again. Princess Maria is on her way down. This is my daughter, Countess Natalie. So, you are Prince André's intended. How pretty, but you're delightful, my dear. Thank you. And what a pretty dress. It's very, uh, à la mode, n'est-ce pas? Oh, Princess. 
How nice to see you again. And this is my daughter, Natasha, your future sister-in-law, one might say. How do you do? <clears throat> Andre has told me a lot about you in his letters. My father, I'm afraid, is indisposed and asks that you excuse him. Oh, are you serious, I hope? No, a severe cold, that's all. Well, Princess, uh, if you will allow me to leave my little pet with you for ju just a short while. I have a friend uh, just a few steps from here. I haven't seen him all winter. It will give you two ladies a chance to get to know each other. Most kind of you to receive us. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I'm very glad of this opportunity to meet you. Andre has told me a lot about you in his letters. Yes. It's fortunate we were in Moscow this winter. Yes. Have you heard from Andre recently? I had a letter about a month ago. I had one a few days ago. He tells me he'll be home soon. That must make you very happy. I'm sure it will make us both happy. Yes, of course. Um, are you staying in Moscow long? My father has some business here. When it's finished, we'll go back to Otradne. Does Prince André plan uh, to continue his work for the government when he returns? I don't know. I don't think his health will permit it. His mind is very active. Yes, but he tires easily. And he prefers to work on the estate of Bogacharovo. He's not one for the vanities of the world. I wouldn't have said the work he was doing belonged to the vanities of the world. Oh, no. Of course I didn't mean that. Only that the problems of the countryside are more suited to his real nature than those of the town. Believe me, I know my brother. Of course. I can't pretend to know him yet as well as his family. Princess, could we not bring little Nikolenko in to see the Countess? He's sleeping. I don't think he should be disturbed. He's enchanting. Prince André is quite besotted with him. I expect he's spoken to you about him. Yes, he has told me of him. <laughs> Such a serious little boy. He takes after André rather than Lisa. Poor Lisa. André is very particular as to the manner of his bringing up. I find that very natural. Oh, we've all given it a great deal of thought. We've never believed that children just grow by themselves. Do you? I don't know. It's always seemed to me that if a child is loved, it's enough. But I'm sure we shall continue as you've begun. I wanted to say, It'll be very hard for him, you understand. The change, I mean. He's lived all his life here, and naturally, it never occurred to any of us that he wouldn't continue to do so. But then, we never expected my brother to marry again. Of course, we are all delighted. Of course. Natalie. Ah, madam. Madame Countess, uh, Countess Rostova, if I am not mistaken. I beg your pardon, pray excuse me. I did not know. God is my witness. I came to see my daughter. I beg you, uh, excuse me, excuse this attire. Oh, uh, please, as God is my witness, please excuse me. Uh, I think I shall go now. Oh, no, don't go. Your father... My father is just across the road. It will save him a journey. But I so wanted to talk, to tell you how... I don't think this is the time for speaking of that. Thank you for receiving us so cordially. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 
Natasha, <laughs> won't you come down to dinner? <laughs> Just leave me alone, please. Papa would like you to come down. <laughs> Why are you crying? What for? You don't know how humiliating it was. But who cares about them? They're nothing to you. She doesn't like me, Sonia. And she showed it. Oh, I knew we shouldn't have gone. I knew it. But it's not your fault. Oh, oh. The humiliation is theirs, oh. not yours. Oh, Sonia, why doesn't he come home? Why? Rostov from Moscow. Uh, do you remember? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, of course. I had the honor of arranging a dinner for you oh, three years ago uh, at my house. Oh, yes, yes, to be sure. How very sad to hear that you've retired. Oh, well, one must make way. Impossible. Impossible. I shall never believe it. You not in charge of the army. Never. Sonia, do you see who's sitting over there? It's Dolohov, your former admirer. You tell me all the ladies in Moscow are getting wild over it. Let them, they're welcome to him. Je vois. Je sais, je crois, je suis désabusé de ce bienheureux sang, tu me vois baptisé. Je suis chrétienne, enfin, n'est-ce point assez dit Conserve en me perdant ton rang et ton crédit, redoute l'empereur, appréhende sévère. Si tu ne veux périr, ma perte est nécessaire. Polyeucte m'appelle à cet heureux trépas. Je vois Néar qui est lui qui me tende les bras. Mais. Mène-moi voir tes dieux que je déteste. Ils n'en ont brisé qu'un, je briserai le reste. On m'y verra braver tout ce que vous craignez, ces foudres impuissants, quand leurs mains vous peignez. Et saintement rebelles aux lois de la naissance, une fois envers toi, manquer de blessants. Ce n'est point ma douleur que par là je fais voir. C'est la grâce qui parle et non le désespoir. Le faut-il dire encore Félix, je suis 
suis chrétienne, affermie par ma mort, ta fortune et la mienne. Le couple à l'un et l'autre en sera précieux, puisqu'il t'assure en terre. En m'élevant aux cieux. Art. Art. Natasha, come and meet Mademoiselle Georges. What a performance, Countess. I'm so glad you could come. Uh, let me introduce you to Mademoiselle Georges. Natasha. Oh, leave her, Count. She won't fly away. She's happy. And we must let them be happy while they can. Don't you agree? And they're so charming, your niece and your daughter. Sonia, my dear, what did you think of Mademoiselle Georges? No, wait. Please don't My go. father... No, listen to me. I know this will sound like madness, but I'm in love with you. Madly in love with you. You mustn't say that. What else can I say? It's true. I feel I could die if you won't look at me. Please don't say such things. Say something to me, please. I'm engaged. You know I am. What's that to me? Is it my fault that I've fallen in love with you? Oh, don't pretend you don't feel something. I know you do. I can feel you trembling. I'm trembling too. Not. Not. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Comtesse. Thank you so much for all your compliments. Well, I think that I must take my little girls home. Ah, no, Count, I shan't let you go before they've danced. Yeah. Look, here's my enchantress. How can you keep her shut up like a nun? Natasha, come and dance. My brother, Anatole, come here. Take Natasha on the floor for the waltz. And now, Sonia, I've seen several young men looking at you. Let's find one of them. And then I shall insist on dancing with the Count. Oh, Countess, it's so long since I've danced. And I'm sure you can outdance us all. <laughs> you know, I am certain that your daughter gets her talent from you. can't call on you. I shall go mad. I must see you. No. Yes. Oh, my love, please say you'll see me. Someone may come in. I don't care. I love you. I love you. You will see me. You will let us meet. Yes. Oh, yes. I've been thinking the whole matter over, and I've come to a conclusion. I went yesterday to see Prince Volkonsky. Did he receive you? Yes, and I had a talk with him. <laughs> if you can call it that. He saw fit to scream at me, but I'm not easily shouted down. I said what I had to say. And he, what did he say? He said a great many things I choose not to remember and other things I chose not to hear. But, you know, he's very old, become a bit of a fool, so what's the use of talking? As it is, we've worn this poor girl out. She's got dark rings under her eyes. You feel well, my dear? Yes, Papa. Haven't you been sleeping? Young girl like you shouldn't have dark rings under her eyes. I'm all right, Aunt. Well, it's been a difficult time for you. I'll be the first to admit it. Anyway, my advice to you is finish your business here and go back to Otradney. Mm. No. Yes, go back there and wait. If uh, Prince Andre comes here now while you're in Moscow, there'll be a no avoiding a quarrel. But if he's alone with his father, he can talk to him and then come to you there. 
I don't want to go back to Atradni yet. But there's nothing to keep you here. Your trousseau is ordered. Anything extra I can send on to you. Your aunt is quite right, my dear. If the old man comes round and sees reason, we can visit him later. And if not, the wedding will have to be in Atradni. I am only sorry that I took her to see him. Oh, no, don't be sorry. You had to pay your respects. If he wouldn't have it, then that's his affair and his loss. Now, I had a letter from Princess Maria, enclosing one for Natasha. Here. Poor woman, she's in a dreadful state. She's afraid you think she doesn't like you. Well, she doesn't. What nonsense! I'll take no one's word for that, Aunt. I know she doesn't like me. Don't contradict me, my girl. Answer that letter. Now, I've got something to do in the house. Papa, must we go back? Well, I have to go away for a few days. I have to show the estate to a buyer. Uh, since it's on the way to a tragedy, I was going to take you with me. But uh, if you want to stay here, we can go back to Tradney on uh, Friday. How would that be? Thank you, Papa. Uh -huh. Natasha, is anything wrong? No. Why do you ask? I just felt lately as if... as if you'd not been here. Don't be silly. And Aunt is right. You don't look as if you've been sleeping properly. Are you still worried about Andre's family? Yes. Yes, I suppose I am. Oh. Stop worrying. I'm perfectly all right. Tradney on Friday. Well, then we must act quickly. Will you come with me? Oh, yes. I'll get horses. <sighs> well, where shall we go? Oh, who knows? France, probably. <gasps> well, as long as we're together, what does it matter? Nothing matters. Oh, I love you. Oh, hold me. <gasps> oh. oh, I hate meeting like this. In the streets after dark. Come with me now. Where? There's a little restaurant down the street. We can talk there. No, I must go. But you said this time oh, you'd let's come with wait. me. It'll only be another day or two. And and I think my aunt is suspicious. When did you know you loved me? The first time I saw you at the opera. And I. I knew something had happened. I tried not to let it, but I couldn't stop it. All the time I kept thinking of Andre. He was a fool to leave you. I would... Don't say that. He's a dear man. And I've done something terrible to him. But I can't help it. I'll get a note to you to tell you when the carriage will be here. Be ready. Yes. We'll drive like the wind. We'll be across the frontier before they're even awake. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye.
You've been out to see him. You've been meeting him. Yes. Oh, Sonia. Oh, Sonia, I'm so glad you know. I couldn't stand giving it to myself any longer. We love each other. Oh. Oh, Sonia. Oh, if you only knew how happy I am. I can hardly breathe. Bokonski. I know, Sonia. But I love him. Anatol. You mean it's all over? Yes, it must be. I don't believe it. Natasha, do you know what you're doing? You've hardly known this man a week. It's as if I've loved him for a hundred years. It's as if I've never loved anyone in my life. Oh, Sonia, he wants me. And I love him. How could you let it go so far? I couldn't stop it. Oh, don't you understand? No, I don't understand. You must stop it. Well, I must stop it. I can't go on knowing what I know. What would Mama say and Papa? Sonia, you can't tell. Well, you can't. That would make you my enemy. Sonia, do you want me to be miserable? Do you want us to be separated? Why doesn't he come to the house? Why? Yes, what stops him? But you know why. Well, they would never let him. But Prince Andre left you perfectly free. But they still wouldn't let him, don't you see? No, I don't see. Why all this secrecy? There must be a reason for it. I've told you the reason. Then there must be something else. Does he love you? Love me? I mean really love. Suppose he's not honorable. Anatole. Then why doesn't he declare his intentions? I'll write to him. I'll tell Papa. Sonia? Natasha, do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're saying? Well, think of father. Think of Nikolai. How dare you say that to me? It's none of your business. I confided in you. I thought you were my friend. But you're not. Natasha! Go away! Go away. And if you dare tell, Sonia, I'll kill myself. Dear Princess Maria, thank you for your kind letter. There are really no misunderstandings to forgive. When Prince Andre went abroad, he set me at liberty to break our engagement if I ever so desired. The moment has come when I must take advantage of that offer. I no longer feel I could be his wife. Please forgive me if I have been at fault in any way. There we are. I should take care of the expenses. The rest is yours. Thank you. You're damn lucky having such a rich sister. If you want to take my advice, there's still time to call it off. No, I don't talk rubbish. I'm not. And keep her advice to yourself. I've got a right to advise you. Who made all the arrangements? Got the priest and the horses. Well, I'm very grateful to you. Just leave me alone. Don't blame me. Dangerous game you're playing. You'll carry her off, yes. Do you think they'll let it rest there? 
thing had to come out that you're married already, I'll have you on a criminal charge. I'll be abroad by then. Then you'll never be able to return. Never. Devil with you. Who wants to return? Ah, Balaga, come in. Now, what horses have you brought? The ones he ordered. Your favourite, sir. Ah, good man. Now, listen. You've got to get there in three hours. I don't care if you've got to kill the horses, understand? Why you're crying, my girl? You should be <laughs> proud of yourself. She'll never forgive me. You've done your duty, which is more than she's done. Eloping with that good for nothing. Well, I shall talk to her in a minute. Oh, let me go to her. No, 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 no. Stay there. I'm taking no chances till I've collared that villain. <laughs> then I shall march in, have it out with her. get more than he bargained for. Come into the courtyard or you'll be seen. She'll be with you directly. This way, sir. The mistress is waiting for you. Oh, who are you? What mistress? Come this way. My orders are to bring you in. Editor, run! Run! They've discovered it! Got away. Well, now for that shameless wench. Disgusting. Abominable. Running away like a common wench. Shame on you. And in my care, too. What's happened? What's happened? He's turned tail and run. That's what's happened, like the little rat that he is. But I'll find him, mark my words. Then he'll what catch it, you you'll done? see. What have you done? Saved you from making a fool of yourself. <laughs> That's what I've done. No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> No! 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 You can weep, my girl. But what about the tears your father and mother will shed? What about them? How am I to tell them? I don't care. But I care. Oh, just, just let I'll me keep be. it from them. Oh, my How? God! I don't just know. Just let me be. How could you betray oh. that man you're engaged to? I'm not engaged. I've refused him. More fool you! Why did you have to interfere? What right have you got? But what did you want? Uh, Why uh, carry you off like a gypsy girl? He's a blackguard, don't you see? He's better than any of you. And, and he loves me. Oh. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Oh, God. Why? Go and find a footman. Oh. Tell him to go over to Prince Besuchov and ask him to come here at once. Oh. I want to speak to him. Oh. 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 Get out. Get out! You dare. I want a word with you. I want to know what I say. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. 
Do you have any letters of hers? Can't just rust over. Do you have any letters of hers? Yes. Yeah. Any more? No, I, I swear. Tomorrow you leave Moscow, do you understand? Next, you are never to breathe a word of what has passed between you and Natasha Rostova, because if you do, I will kill you. Is that understood? Amuse yourself with a woman like my wife, if you choose, but not with an innocent young girl. And that's for your journey. I'm getting you out of Moscow because I'm afraid that my friend Andrei Bolkonsky will come looking for you when he finds out and will kill you. And I want to spare him that. Now get out. You're vile. How she could have taken you over him, I'll never know. But you're vile. Now get out of my house. Natasha? When did Andre get back? Last night. Hmm. He looks very well. I'm sure the trip's done him a great deal of good. He knows you're here. He's coming down. Tell me, does he know about... Countess Rostova? Yes. Yes. My father told him last night. Well... You know, she wrote to us, breaking off the engagement. I had the feeling he wasn't surprised. Anyway, I don't think it would have worked out, do you? You're pleased? Well, not exactly. Yes, you are. You're pleased. Why, Princess? Why? Well, how are you? <laughs> Still getting stouter. <laughs> What's more to the point, how are you? As you see, fit and well. I'll leave you to talk. Come and see me before you go. Well, you know, of course. But I have received my dismissal from Countess Rostova. Yes. You mustn't take it seriously. Or that she and your brother-in-law plan to elope and get married. He couldn't have married her because he's married already. <laughs> She's very ill. When she heard through me that he was already married, she tried to poison herself. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, where is Kuragin now? I don't know. He's left Moscow. Well, it's no matter. I left her perfectly free. I hope she'll be very happy. Oh, Andrei, my dear friend, you know, how can I say it? I love you both very much, and it hurts me very much to see you like this. Couldn't you? Be magnanimous. Forgive her? No. But if she came to you? No. I can't. Don't ask it of me. Here are her letters and her portrait. Please return them to her, if you happen to see her. Have you seen the comet? They say it portends the end of the world or some great disaster like war. I don't know. Why shouldn't it portend something joyful, some great new experience? Hey? Eh? Why only war and misfortune? He thought you should have them back. It's only natural. You're his friend. Tell him. Please tell him to forgive me. 
Yes, yes, I will, but... Uh... No. I know it's all over. It can never be again. It's just... I'm tormented by the wrong I've done him. Yeah. Tell him to forgive me. Yes, yes. I will, I'll tell him everything once more. But there is one thing I would like to know. It's Anatole Karagin. Did you love him, that vile man? Don't call him that. I... I don't know. I don't... I... I don't know. No, please, 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 please. We won't speak of it again. I want you to look on me as your friend. If you want advice or help or to open your heart to someone? Please. I'm not worth it. Shh. Hush. Huh. Don't say that. You have your whole life before you. It's, it's, it's all over for me. All over? All over? Shh. If I were not myself, but were the handsomest, cleverest, best man in the world and were free I would go down on my knees this minute and I'd ask you to marry me yes this minute 